Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Bison Workshop, I'm Bob, and today we've got something that uh, I just wanted to do, I uh, decided the other day that I was going to do something with this air tank. Uh, this was the very first one that I cleaned, and uh, you guys seen this on that contraption that spun it while it had grout or um, wood screws in it, and <clears throat> dishwashing liquid and water and a whole bunch of stuff. But anyway, it's been sitting on the porch in our way. So, I don't want to get rid of it. I want to keep this tank because it is a good tank. And uh, so, I decided that I was going to make this useful since it's got to be in my way. So, but anyway, before I get started on this, I wanted to uh, mention, um, I have started a, um, a fan, or fan funding on my YouTube channel. Um, when, when you go to my channel, if you look on the right hand side, you'll see uh, fund or support. I think it's support, and you just hit the support, and you know anybody that feels that they want to uh, donate to the shop. Uh, it costs money to have the necessary materials to do the jobs that I do. Video, uh, you know, like sandpaper, screws, uh, blades, uh, you name it. You know, it costs money to run a shop, and for the past, well, all my life, I have uh, basically run a shop that comes out of my pocket, and that's fine because that was for me. Now I'm doing it for other people, and uh, just trying to show people how to turn something that normally would be thrown away and put in the trash that you could actually take that instead of polluting the dumps with it because eventually the world's going to be nothing but a dump if we keep doing this so you know keeping stuff out of the dump is a positive thing for the world and and I just feel that it helps people to do that <clears throat> To learn a different way of throwing something away instead of throwing it away use it for something else and enjoy it and be proud of it so um, with that said any donations would be appreciated uh, now what I would do with the donations is anything that gets donated goes right back into the shop um, my um, score videos uh, Stuff like that will show you along the way where that money went. <clears throat> so, it's, it, so you know where it's going, and um, I would appreciate it if uh, if you feel compelled to do it. If not, no hard feelings. Uh, you know, it basically the same as not having funding. Uh, on my channel because I'm not going to think of you any different um, but if you feel that you want to that's fine if you don't that's fine too um, I was going to start a patreon page but I just I don't think that it's going to be necessary to do that or beneficial to me because I am a small channel and um, I just don't think it's practical right now um, so anyway Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, you who, who have, and I hope that I get more subscribers. I'm up to 145 subscribers now, so I'm over the $100 mark, I mean the 100, um, uh, 100 subscriber mark, which was my goal to begin with. So now i got a new goal, and that's 500 subscribers, so hopefully we get there before next year. But anyway, 
be nice if it was before my birthday, which is coming up September the 27th. Y'all remember that. <laughs> anyway, but anyway, back to this table. Um, I needed a table over next to my uh, chair on the uh, porch to put my feet up on. And this was the perfect height. So I thought, well, why not take some, I had an extra two by six left over from the trailer, and I actually want to pick the worst looking side, because the worst looking side is the better looking side, because you want it to look old and antique and whatever. So I thought about taking three of those, and putting on there. Two would actually probably be enough. Um, yeah, I actually think two of them is enough. I, I cut three of them. And I, I thought about doing it with three of them and centering it. But it kind of protrudes out past the uh, tank. And I really don't want to do that because I want to be able to put the tank clean up against the wall. So I think I'm just, that's plenty of table. Because my feet would be resting right here. And then maybe a knick-knack here. Or we have those battery operated candles. Maybe we can set a candle there and some deer horns or something like that. So we have kind of a, a table, a bench. You can pretty much use it for anything. You can use it for a bench. In your shop so you know when you got that air air compressor tank that's just sitting around getting in your way uh, even if it's bad you can use it for a bench uh, for people to come hang out in your shop with you uh, it can be used as a coffee table uh, it can be used for anything so I'm just going to turn this into an air compressor air compressor bench and uh, so now we got to figure out how we're going to mount this to this and I don't want to destroy the tank in a way that I can't use it for a tank later on on an actual air compressor uh, it's a good possibility that maybe one day I might need to use this tank and yeah there goes my bench uh, I had thought about making this a bench that is actually usable um, and I can still do that but I plugged the holes with a um, quarter inch uh, nipple or plug just to keep spiders and ants and stuff like that out of it so we're just going to mount this and then later on if I actually want to use this for a tank I can get a low profile elbow to put here and run it out the side and then just route out this section right here to allow for room for that to come out and just put a, a fitting on this end, one of them quick disconnect couplers and another quick disconnect coupler over here. That way it can be used and used for a bench at the same time. So in a shop that would be a perfect thing to have because you'd have a tank for extra volume and a bench at the same time wouldn't want to be sitting on it if it ever ruptured <laughs> been troubled in so now we got to figure out where, how we're going to mount this and I thought why not use this it's uh, three quarters inch thick and I can just run a piece across that because I don't want to raise it any more than I already have. And uh, I think that would work. Uh, I can always put a little flashing on the front of this to hide the end of this piece when I cut it off and um, decorate it or something like that. We'll see. So the next thing we're going to do is make our table. Cut these down and make the table.
Alright guys, what we're going to do is we're going to utilize these holes right here for mounting these down. And what we're going to do is see we got screw holes here that are threaded with quarter 20. Same thing over here. So now what we need to do, what I've done is I've put a mark in the center of this. And I'll put a mark in the center of this. That way, we can just line up them two lines, and we know that this is centered. And we're going to do the same thing over here. And then I'm going to take, i got a real short pencil that I can reach up in here and just draw the mark where I'm going to drill my hole for the bolt to go down through. So, uh, that's what we're going to do next is... And my radio keeps making a noise like the CD's trying to read, and that's off. I think it's got a, I think I got a ghost in my stereo. <laughs> I haven't been able to find a good stereo yet to put in the, for the bison, but I'll find one someday. End up having to go buy one. Anyway, we're going to get started on that, and... I'm just going to drill these out and then uh, drill it out bigger for the head of the, the bolt so that the head of the bolt will be level with the uh, top of this. So we'll get them out. Alright guys, what we've done here now is just countersunk so that I can accommodate a washer keep the bolt from um, pressing itself down into the wood so now we just uh, install it should have been here when I was cussing <laughs> I set one of these down I had four of them and that was all I had was four of them I set it down and lost it. I do that a lot, man. And I do a lot of cussing over it. And in this shop, if you drop something, I was just talking to Chris Anderson about that the other day. Uh, about losing stuff. He said, I'm surprised you don't, uh, things don't get uh, lost. I said, they do. <laughs> There's stuff in here I've lost that I still haven't found that I lost a year ago. Alright, so now we're going to Now what's going on here? Did I do that backwards? Yes, I've done that backwards. i got to make a new one. Um, I put the uh, countersink in the wrong side. It should have been on this side. That's doing it. And I've already beveled it. Or 45. It's supposed to go like that. So I'm going to have to make a new one. So we'll be right back. Alright guys, I had to make another one. Made a mistake on the other one. All right, so now we're going to put that on there. So now we've got something to mount our boards to. So I actually don't want that knot. Now if the knot was nice and flat, you know, with no chunks taken out of it, I probably would have put it on top. But I think I'm going to use this for the top 
I didn't want to use this side for the top because it's got a little step up there from when they ran it through the planer, whoever made this two, two by six. And uh, I'm going to tell you, lumber today, I'm not impressed. So we're going to put that right there in the center. And then we're going to put that one right there. Butt them together. And then I'm going to measure from the edge of this to the edge of this to get my, to make sure it's centered this way also. Uh, there's another way you can center that too if I find my tape. You know that this bead here is in the center. So if you take 32 inches and divide it in half, you got 16. So then you take this and set it on there just like that. And then you move it over until it is in the center of that bead. So now you know that your board is centered. Now we've got our marks drawn. Now we need to figure out where we want to put our screw holes because remember, you have this bolt here and that washer. You don't want to be hitting that uh, bolt with the screw when you go to screw this down. All right, guys, we've got it pre-drilled, countersunk. And the only thing left to do now is to um, take all of it back apart, sand it, stain it, and um, kind of round these edges off a little bit, stuff like that. And um, I'm at a point where I'm going to, the old lady just got home from work, and um, this is something that uh, she likes to do. Uh, she likes to do the staining, and I'm going to uh, let her help me on this. And she don't like to be on video, so <clears throat> I'll show you the finished product after it's done. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about the feet. Um, I had thought about taking and making feet for it. Um, but I'm not sure how I want to do that. Uh, it'd be something fancy, I'm sure. You know, I thought about taking a piece of 2 by 6 and just cut a piece that's probably about 5 by 5 and then just cut the contour of this out of it. But if I do that, then it's going to be stuck out away from the wall again, further, like I was keeping from doing here by putting three of them on here, it would have brought the boards out wider. So the whole point of doing only two boards was to keep this so I can get it closer to the wall. Um, so we may just leave that the way it is and just maybe uh, put some something there. I thought about these brass things. I thought about taking these that came off of a toilet paper holder or a paper towel holder or whatever and doing something fancy with that. You know, cut this piece here off. But I don't know if that's brass all the way through. If it is, we're good. I can polish it. Uh, and maybe trim that down to fit down in that hole and just have some little fancy um, something fancy to put on it something like that yeah, I even just leave the um, the round on top of it and trim this down to fit down in that hole 
and then just put a clip on the bottom of it. I only need two of them, one on each side, or yeah, two on each of this side. But if I ever want to turn it around, you know, I could just do it on all fours. Whatever I do, I probably will do all fours. But uh, I think that'd look pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get her and see if she wants to uh, help uh, polyurethane the sand. And we'll sand this and file it wherever I'm going to file it. I'm going to file the edges of it so it's kind of round, so it's not a sharp edge. And uh, we'll go from there. So I guess the next thing you guys are going to see is me showing it off. So stay tuned for that. Alright guys, we got it done the best I'm going to do. Uh, look, there she is. Bison built air compressor bench. And yes, this tank can be used for a holding tank at the same time. So, there you have my little uh, porch bench made from an air compressor tank I even took those and put them on there like that just to hide the holes and yes nice and built <laughs> all right man that will conclude this the bison built air compressor bench or table, whichever one you want to call it. You guys have a good one. Later. <laughs>